Hey, Ronnie. Hey, Lou. Hey, uh, how are you feeling? Are you relaxed? Are you feeling good? Yeah, I feel okay. pretty good. Good. Well, I don't yeah. want to alarm you. Okay. But there is a large asteroid packing 50 megatons of force hurtling towards the Earth and could come crashing down at any moment. Oh, my God. We'll tell you about it if we're still here next on Men Are So Smart. Welcome to another episode of Men Are So Smart. This is our science episode. A large asteroid could be headed towards us in the near future, barreling through space on a risk trajectory that might cause it to collide with the Earth, Ron. Mm, dang, it sounds like something out of, uh, it's going to be an Austin Powers movie or something. <laughs> The news comes from The Express, which cites NASA sources who revealed that the space rock could end up engaged in not one, but 62 potential impact trajectories with our planet. Wow. Uh, each of them waiting to sling the asteroid toward Earth over the next hundred years. Did you say turd? <laughs> it sounded <laughs> like it. It was a hurtling turd. Turd. <laughs> Known as Asteroid 2018 LF-16. Okay. I call it that because we're close. <laughs> the Space Rock. That should be a good name for our band. Ooh, yeah. The Space Rock was last observed by astronomers on June 16th. And Jet Propulsion Laboratory calculated its orbit and its potential to become a threat to our planet. The calculation showed asteroid 2018 LF-16 could collide with our planet on 62 different dates between now and and 2117. Huh. I think I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm busy that day. I think I'm going to go to Hawaii or something. 2117? Like Seriously? <laughs> <laughs> Boy, it's an immediate, an immediate danger. This is something we need to deal yes, with right, right away. now. Yes. Uh, the first of these unnerving opportunities will arise just five years from now. Oh, that's within our lifespan. Occurring on August 8th. 2023. Isn't your birthday right around there? July. Oh, that'd be a nice little Christmas, yeah. another Heck birthday yeah. present. Another potential. Good luck wrapping it. <laughs> yeah. Put a bow on that. Uh, another potential impact date in the future, uh, August 3rd, 2024. I got a wedding that day. And August 1st, 2025. I'm going to a baseball game. To make matters worse, the Space Rock is estimated to measure nearly 700 feet across and is currently hurtling through space at a speed of more than 33,844 miles per hour. That's what speed I drove over to get here. Which makes the asteroid slightly larger than uh, Whoopi Goldberg. Oh. Not a lot, but slightly. Yeah. All right. Um, uh, this makes the statue, and to put it in comparison, it's twice as large as the Statue of Liberty. Um, so, yeah. A space rock this big is about twice as tall as Big Ben's clock tower in London, twice the height of the Statue of Liberty in New York, and is four times as tall as the Nelson's Column in Trafalgar Square, states the Express. Not heard of that one. However, this is not to say that the asteroid will slam into Earth with absolute certainty. In fact, NASA estimates that the asteroid has a 1 in 30 million chance of crashing into our planet, so a little better than the uh, lotto. <laughs> yeah. This translates into a 99.9999967 chance, percent chance, of a miss in the event that the asteroid does come wandering too close to home. So you're saying there's a chance. Uh, well, yeah, <laughs> but 99.9999. <laughs> Yes. This particular space rock ranks as a level zero threat on the Torino impact hazard scale, meaning that its likelihood of a collision with Earth is non-existent or close to non-existent. Again, like my chances of winning the lottery. With my luck, though, it's going to hit. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, it'll, be, it'll be the day after I hit the lottery. <laughs> yeah. Next, <laughs> before you can even cash the ticket in. Yes. This is the same designation that also applies to small objects, such as meteors and bodies that burn up in the atmosphere as well as infrequent meteorite falls that rarely cause damage, explains uh, the Center for Near-Earth Object Studies at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. Although NASA predictions show the asteroid has virtually zero chances of smashing into Earth, 
the space agency will continue to keep an eye on this formidable space rock. An asteroid of this size headed directly for Earth would pack a tremendous impact force that could rival the 57 megaton blast produced by the detonation of the Tsar Bomba in 1961. That is more than 1,500 times that of the Hiroshima and Nagasaki bombs wow. combined. Damn. And 10 times more powerful than all the munitions expended during World War II. Luckily, asteroids of these proportions don't represent a frequent threat to our planet. Uh, in, uh, according to the European Space Agency, asteroids larger than 100 meters, which is about 330 feet in diameter, usually pummel Earth only once every thousand years. So you saw the last one then. <laughs> yes, <laughs> me and Big Jim. <laughs> <laughs> the main challenge stems from the population of middle-sized objects ranging from tens of to hundreds of meters in diameter. These smaller asteroids can be found in greater numbers in our solar system and strike the Earth periodically, sometimes causing extensive damage. This was the case of the 60-foot asteroid that exploded over the Russian city of uh, Chimbladen in, in 2013, <laughs> injuring more than 1,000 people and producing millions of dollars in damage. Mm. Uh, Ronnie, I, 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 I think these scientists, they discover these things and they just want to alarm everyone. I think what we need to do is mobilize a task force with Bruce Willis. Bruce Willis needs to head this program up. Yes, and put them on a on a missile immediately mm -hmm. on a spaceship, mm -hmm. get them to land on there, mm -hmm. drill mm -hmm. some holes, right holes, blow the thing up, blow the thing up. You say, yeah, that's, I mean, that's what I would do. Where's all the debris going to go? Uh, it'll probably reel Linda, which is okay. Yeah, that wouldn't be so that's bad. That's acceptable casualties. Yeah, but not really close to Alberta though. No, yeah, <laughs> or Antelope. <laughs> Either way, not good. Just reel Linda. All right. Well, that concludes our episode of science Woo! today we hope that you enjoyed the show we hope we didn't alarm you too much at the onset of the program <laughs> i was a little alarmed i know you were <laughs> and i and i feel bad about that it kind of was like clickbait if you ask me yeah yeah in any case we got through it and we hope that you enjoyed and perhaps even learned something if you did give it a thumbs up that would be cool uh plus subscribe to our channel you'll see an opportunity to do that below. And when you do, click the bell too. That way you get notifications each time a new show comes out. It's a brilliant idea. Ronnie, how's your asteroid? Uh, you know, I, I went to the doctor and he took care of him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, preparation now, didn't age. you have those Klingons? <laughs> a stage five Klingon. A stage five Klingon. <laughs> boy, oh boy, that's not good. All right, I'm Lou Gallagher. Corvette Ronnie. We'll see you on the next Men Are So Smart. Bye-bye.